What's going on guys, it's Nick. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video that I posted up yesterday of showing you guys some of the lacrosse sticks that I had. Currently, some of the setups, um, and just sharing some overall information. Um, but uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about something different today. It's really nothing about sticks. Um, other than that, um, I was looking online and I found a whole bunch of, you know, tutorials on how to pinch lacrosse sticks and you know, since I happened to have done mine the other day and saw when I was uploading mine, you know, some tutorials, people were asking me how to do theirs, why Shay should do it, and this is my take on it. If anybody's going to pinch a stick, it's mainly for the reason to get more accuracy, more ball control, and you're going to get a better feel you know, out of it, because it's basically taking, you know, a narrow stick, you know, let's say here, and pushing that in, so the ball only has a so, like, it's it's like physics, you know, it can, it, you have a wide head, you're trying to throw the ball out, it could come out this way, that way, so you don't have to worry about a channel, you could have a bag, real baggy pocket, but if it's pinched correctly, uh, it works. Also, with X spec heads, I think X spec heads are really the only p heads you should pinch. Um, they're made to a universal spec, as you guys know, but sometimes, you know, you guys, I see a lot of high school kids using them where you don't have to. You can use a high school head, but you're using, let's say, a hammer or let's say a, uh, you know, a, a, an Evo 4X, you know, and you don't have to be using the X. Uh, you know, I'll show you my clutch, for example. You know, you don't have to be using something this wide. You know, it, it looks like it's a little more pinched when you look at it down this way, but I could have done it on this one, but I decided to do it on the Lakota only because it just the shape of it was just very oblong at the bottom and just kind of bulgy, and I wanted to get it uh, right. So basically what you want to do um, is, like I said, get it. You don't put it in the oven, whatever you do. That's the most stupidest idea. You have the running the risk of actually ruining the plastic on your stick. Excuse me, put the camera. Um, you, you can you can melt uh, your lacrosse stick in you know in the oven. So don't do that. Just get some water boiling. You know, throw the stick in there, both sides for 10 minutes. Take it out. It'll be really wobbly. You'll find out where your pinch point is. If the pinch point is in the middle of the head, like a rabel, you know, stick a sidewall string through the you know the outside run it through the, you know, run it through the corresponding hole on the opposite side and, you know, pull it about an inch tight, um, but keep a ruler with you so that it doesn't go to the minimum length, uh, where it doesn't, you know, exceed, um, the minimum requirements because, as you guys know, NCAA only heads like the CEO, uh, and some other X-Spec heads, you know, they can be pinched like the superpower, can be pinched a little bit and still be legal. Um, so what I like to do is I like to put a little pencil that I mark about uh, about about seven inches, six and a half to seven inches sometimes, depending on what it is, and I'll put it through the top holes so I'm not making the head any longer. The top's always going to stay the same. And then I'll take that sidewall and I'll just pull it to wherever I feel it's tight, wrap it around a few times uh, when it's still hot, uh, when it's still you know pretty flexible. Uh, I won't pinch it uh, any much more. I'll throw it in the freezer for about a, a day and a half, and uh, actually for, well, for a day. And then you take it out, uh, string it up, uh, wait till it defrosts because it you know it should have some frost on it. Wait till it defrosts and string it up. Sometimes it'll unpinch itself. It's just a natural way of the plastic trying to go back to its natural formation. And if you find that happening, you just always can just you know pinch it a little bit more, um, not to ex not to exact where you want it but a little bit more so that it has time because it eventually it's just going to expand and expand. But um, as you can see, the profile is much different now on this head. It almost looks like I'm showing you a regular Lakota, but this is the U. And as you can see down here, down at the bottom points, they start wide, but then it gets narrow and then gets wide. So it's almost like a 9K if you guys have seen those shafts, uh, those, those heads. So you'd pretty much understand that. I got a piece of this mesh here. I've shown this in a couple other videos, but I never actually told you guys the reason why this came back. I did a custom piece for somebody who wanted it, and I wrote down 
uh, 17D, and he wanted 12D, and I ended up, you know, screwing something up. Um, so he, I just told him, I said, send it back to me, and I'll get, you know, the other one sent out to you, no problem. And he ended up picking, picking out white, I believe, instead. Uh, but this piece just looks actually phenomenal. Um, it's it has the perfect amount of I mean it can't really get the color in here, but it's got the perfect amount of green where you need it. Um, in certain lights it's different. It's very very bright when it gets outside. So all you'd have to do is just do an open sidewall when you string this uh, mesh on there. You know you you don't have to. You could string it straight to the stick. You just have to you know pound it in a little bit more, but. It's really not that much different than 20D. Yeah, I know 20D stretches out a little more, almost like comparing 15 to 20 mil. But you know, for what it's worth, you know, you can do a couple, you know, open sidewall uh, knots on it, and then tie it onto your stick, and you know, uh, just do the regular pattern, and it'll look fine. So if anybody's looking for a piece of goalie stuff, I usually charge about 27, 25, 27 bucks for something like this. Um, but if you want it, um, I'll I'm willing to let it go for 20 bucks. And that's it. So that's it for the mesh. Um, the only, the thing that I forgot to mention in the other video, I had to play a piece of this. I was going to put it in this head, but I thought the white looked better. A little, just a, a little snazzier. I kind of wanted to mock it off the shoes that I had, the Livestrong shoes. So I think I did a pretty good job because I like to wear those a lot. So yeah, whatever. Um, but anyways, um, the other thing that, I wanted to just touch on before I ended the video. It was the second part, excuse me. And that was just about regular sticks. People have been asking me on forums, on personal messages, hey Nick, you know, uh, I'm thinking of, you know, changing this stick to buy another stick, or I want to trade for this stick, for that stick, for this stick, for that stick. And it's just driving me absolutely crazy. I don't mind if you guys are switching sticks, but, you know, find something that works for you because when it comes down to it you're the one that's going to be using the stick and all sticks these days are somewhat the same so you just find out what kind of preference type of guy you are and then you you write down what you want out of the stick you go online and you look for sticks and you just try to match you know like if if you're a defender and you're looking for something that's a little bit flexible but you want more of a pinched uh, stick maybe the CEO is good for you or maybe the the Revo is too wide for you so you have to find out what it is but also know that you can ha get any strong mesh pocket in any stick nowadays I can string a, a nice sweet channeled pocket in the widest head if I wanted to that'll look the same as if I strung in this Lakota so it makes absolutely no difference you know what head you have as long as you have the uh, right stringing in there at first then you can start to gauge whether that head is working for you if it's durable lasting you know or if you want to try something else then you know you just try to but once you find what works for you the the next step is to pick up an absolute exact replica string it up the same exact way if you had me string it or someone else string it up for you send it to that person say you want it strung up the same way so that when you put down one stick and pick up the other there is absolutely no reason why you have to take 10 or 11 passes or practice you know 10 minutes to get it to throw right because I've seen a lot of kids in games put down one stick and pick up the other and try to go back into the game and they're adjusting you know I know because it's obviously you're using let's say in, in you know let's say you're using a CEO and you know all of a sudden you 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 know you want to switch to your backup which is a you know a proton power on a titanium shaft and of course it's going to be heavier so it's going to throw a little bit different you know it's going to give you a different release if those pockets are strung differently but if the pockets are strung the same everything should matter i mean i know a guy down in uh you know uh, what is it louisville he's got his son set up with you know four of the same sticks they're strung up the same way, taped the same way, so it makes no difference. And that's what all the college and pro guys are doing, you know. They got a whole, they got about five or six different setups that they bring to games, and, you know, it's, they're all strung the same exact way, so if, you know, if they have a problem with one, you just give them another, you know. So instead of having, you know, I mean, I'm not a big player, but instead of having a group of that at your house and deciding which one you're going to bring to use that day, 
why not just get two of these heads, two of the same shafts, string them up the same way, bring both of them to the game so that if one of them isn't working, bring the other one. It, it just only makes sense. Um, unless you're the type of player that, you know, faces off and plays midfield or plays long pole and plays offense, you play with a bring a pole, string it the way you want, you know, get it strung the way you want, and then, you know, bring your short stick with you in case you have to use that. But when you're practicing, throw the ball with both and, you know, throw with your pole, then put that down, throw with your other one so you're acclimated to both. You know, it's really important that, you know, uh, when you pick up a new stick, it shouldn't take you more than 15, 20 minutes to get acclimated to, uh, you know, the stick again, uh, which is why I have no problem switching back from this you know, to this, you know, I was, even though this is a little bit lighter, actually a lot lighter than this, you know, I was outside shooting, but they're strung up the same exact way, so I'll put this down, and then I'll go shooting with this, and I'll get a little bit more accuracy, because I did a little pinch, but that'll just show you, so hopefully this helped you out, I know it was a long one, but, you know, like I said, I wanted to get that out, and I want my goal is to help you guys out as much as I can, so whatever I know, I'll give you the info on. So, uh, I gotta go downstairs and finish up some more mesh, uh, and that's pretty much about it. A lot of stuff is getting shipped out today, and, uh, I don't have, uh, the list of names, but, uh, anybody that has existing orders, I'm gonna send them emails today with, uh, the tracking information. So, that's pretty much it, um, and if you guys have any questions directly from me, instead of leaving them in the comment box, send me an email, dmg 18 at com, and we'll go from there. All right? So have a good day, guys. Enjoy it. And um, like I said, if you have any questions, just feel free to contact me. Always here for you guys. All right? So DMG out. 20 bucks for the goalie mesh, 17D. Carolina to Volt Fade. And just showing you some of my sticks that are strung the same way. So that's pretty much it. All right, guys. Enjoy it. Take it easy. Peace.